For some, eating peanuts or getting stung by a bee may not seem like a big deal, but for others, it can be a matter of life and death. In this video, we'll learn about what causes allergies and the symptoms, and the most severe form called anaphylaxis. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. Allergies are a reaction or response by our body to something that should be harmless, but it thinks is dangerous. There are several substances that can cause allergic reactions and symptoms, and although rare, when the reaction is severe enough, it can lead to death. Let's dive deeper into this process. There are a range of symptoms that can occur when someone has an allergy. If it's mild, for example, a seasonal allergy to pollen, it might only cause symptoms such as congestion, runny nose, itchy eyes, and sneezing. Although these can be very irritating, they aren't life-threatening. Whereas if it's a severe allergy, the reaction is called anaphylaxis, and symptoms may include itchy red patches on your skin called hives, sweating, anxiety, an increased heart rate, abdominal pain, difficulty breathing and wheezing, loss of consciousness or fainting, and edema or swelling. Eventually it can lead to shock, which is when your body does not receive enough blood flow and therefore not enough oxygen and nutrients are delivered to the organs, which is life-threatening. We aren't born with allergies. We acquire them in our life when exposed to a particular substance, drug, or food. Some very common triggers include nuts, shellfish, bee stings, penicillin, and latex. And the allergy may not occur the first time we're exposed either. The first time we're exposed to the substance, called an allergen, our body produces antibodies, called immunoglobulin E. This primes our immune system for a future second exposure. If we are exposed again, the antibodies recognize the allergen and activate the immune cells to begin an inflammatory response. One of the molecules that our cells release during inflammation is called histamine. Histamine causes many of the problems associated with allergies and anaphylaxis that I mentioned earlier. It causes narrowing of the tubes that lead to our lungs so it's harder to breathe, widening of our blood vessels throughout our body, which lowers our blood pressure and leads to the loss of consciousness, the edema or swelling of our eyelids, mouth and throat, and intestines, causing the abdominal pain, and finally the itchiness and hives. This is why allergy medications are called antihistamines. They block the histamine from causing these symptoms. But histamine is also involved in keeping us awake and controlling our appetite which is why some antihistamine medications cause drowsiness and hunger. In the next video, we'll learn about the medication called epinephrine and the steps to use an EpiPen in order to help someone experiencing an anaphylactic reaction. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.